Greetings. It's been a long time since we've done a studio visit and uh, I've moved from Spartanburg, South Carolina now to Columbia, South Carolina. We have a new place. Uh, it's not an apartment this time, it's a house. And my work area is, well, it's a double garage. And uh, here's my recording studio, which is not set up yet. What else? Well, a bunch of stuff came in today from Create Space. So I got a bunch of books. Uh, Tomb issue, special issue 17, which got a couple of good stories in there. Uh, this is a new edition, collecting secret sketchbooks. Um, run out of these pretty fast. This is a new soft cover edition, uh, not magazine, but uh, square bound of my haunted magazine. And uh, square bound of this. And the new Ink Explosion 4. 150 ink drawings and it uh, looked at I, I sat down and looked at the thing when it came Which I don't usually do and I looked at 150 of my own drawings Kind of critiqued them thought what could I do better? Uh, what changes can I make things like that and um, Quite quite educational um, Anyway, I don't want to look at all that again. I just did but uh, what else is going on uh, doing some paintings you know, Christmas is approaching. <laughs> it's not a Christmas painting, of course, but um, it's a pretty wild one. And, and, uh, this one's available on eBay at the moment. My God, what else can I show you? Well, here's a work surface. What a freaking mess this is. Art table. Uh, oh, look at the art gallery over here, eh? Now, who would think Hoffman did stuff like that, huh? Certainly not me. Mm -hmm. A couple guys were just over here and they said, what is that, man, a meat tray? And I said, yeah, I said, what's that in the middle? I said, oh, it's a guy with a big nose. I said, this is what I do when I get tired of doing, you know, this. But um, another new item, flicker prints. Might have to turn off some lights to get this effect. Basically, I put LED bulbs behind the painting, behind the canvas. And it looks really good in the dim room. This one's got three LEDs in it. Where's that one? There it is. So, we've got the same thing going with the uh, Tiki Goddess print. You can get those two. Uh, LED light here and here. So, um, I don't know what else to tell you. Maybe I'll play a song. I got this idea for a song or a musical based on Star Trek, but I would use none of the copyrighted stuff from Star Trek, yet you would still know that it was based on Star Trek. Uh, what rough working title is uh, Space Train? Subtitle. Tagline, riding on a starry track. Yeah, it's starry track. So it uh, could be a musical, videos, stuff like that. Got a whole bunch of songs for it. Um, I don't know where it all came from. Uh, we know how Star Trek is sort of, what's the word? Uh, you know, not symbolic, but um, has a certain universal classical sort of quality to it. Star Trek, the music the, for the TV show, the original series, started like this. These are the voyages of the Star Trek Enterprise. Kind of messed that up. Oh, yeah. That's the theme from the TV show. Oh, 
but so anyway, I borrow those four notes, but I change one. That's the TV version. Here's mine. Which gives it a sort of a zany, scary quality. And you should be scared, very scared. So anyway. Space Captain in Paradise. step it up, which helps on the guitar, because we get this. 